Okay, welcome back, you guys. Thank you for joining me today on the Chinese Empire. We play as Mr. Emperor Yu. Do you want to play as China? Do you want Emperor Yu? We go ahead and uh, we start here the game. It is year 1040 AD, and uh, we are in the cusp of the, okay, let's see, Middle Ages. Renaissance ages. I don't even remember what time it is. It is game time. You know it. All right, so we are in the Renaissance now. Perfect time. You have the uh, what's his face there? The Cree guy. Uh, this guy's name is Poundmaker. Okay, Poundmaker has his caravel on my board, my border. So what do you think? We should buy maybe uh, maybe we build another boat for ourselves. The challenge that guy. Or did we build the industrial uh, district? Trader, industrial zone completed. What else can we build here? Um, eventually, we're going to build that uh, arsenal, Venetian arsenal. You know, but let's go ahead and build a boat. I think that would be the wise one to go. Wise way, the wise way. Let's send a trader somewhere too. That's going to be fun. Trading always so fun. We have how many capacity for trader? I don't think we're that advanced. We only have three capacity. Alright, so I'm gonna send this one. Banda Brunei wants uh Banda Brunei does want the trader. We're gonna send it there. You know, build a road across the country and also get the envoy. We are now um gonna be at peace soon. Because we win. So we are at peace. We are war with Mongolia. Oh my god, Mongolia. Is still at war with Mongolia? And the capital is falling? I don't know how to tell you what what is happening. Okay, so, doesn't matter. Let's keep playing here. Uh, I guess we own Mongolia now. So we are Mongolia. Let's wait for them to destroy themselves. So then, I guess we just... Uh, this is our golden age? No golden age. We are not in the golden age, unfortunately. So just go, this one's going to go heal. They are going to go heal back there. Why all my units need orders? This is too many. Too many units to give orders to. Just sit there, relax. We need you next time for next war. Alright, this girl was at war with me. Now she wants my iron. Refuse the deal, of course. Don't gonna give her no goods. No uh, no trading with that one for a while. This one wants a piece. And he also is willing to cede every four city we own. All his four city. 256 gold. Accept. Because now, we're gonna be a peace-loving country for once. Too much war. Too much. This guy wants to trade for cotton. That I do. That uh, you need cotton swab. I give you cotton swab for sure. That's no problem. I think we need more workers in my country because I see a lot of fields here. Pre impressive wall. Oh, that's a China great Chinese wall. All right, choose production. Uh, no, don't mind if I do. Okay. Harbor would be good. I said I did say worker. So we're going to build builders. Also, the city needs amenities. So what kind of a policy we have for this age? We have probably no no policy. Uh, the Hik Sunt Draconis dedication bonus. Every time I discover a continent, really? All right. I wonder if that's going to happen. It would be fun to discover the new world, but we still have a few hundred years before, you know, historical. We can do that. So Karakum, oh, you built a monument in one turn. So efficient. Next turn. This boat, are we at war with Georgia? No. So we need a. We need to do one of those. Can I go in your land deals? Make a deal. Open border for me. Open border for you. For you? For me. No, emperor you. Okay. Just, yeah, fine. Pay her gold, whatever. For the well-being of this ship, go home. Go home, you. You? Me? Emperor, you. What are you talking? 
Okay, I'm gonna ban the word you soon because that is just getting too confusing. Pound maker! More five gold per turn. Goodbye. No way. Okay. Goodbye. So my arch nemesis here now is Georgia because they own half the continent here in the south. It's just too much. Too much for me. And on the other hand, the South Africans here, uh, sorry, the Zululanders, they own half that continent on that side. So, you know, we do have rivals on each side. Now, where can we send this uh, trader? I'm thinking let's build a trader. You know, I'm going to send him to Chengdu. Just because uh, I want to get a road down there and they need, uh, they're going to get better production from this. Now, here, if I'm going to build an industrial complex, let's think about where is the best place to do that. It's right there. So that's why I think there's a worker there. Right? So then we're going to chop the forest. Just, just chop the forest for goodness sake. Boom. Yeah, don't worry about it. We finished that granary. No time for that. And now build your industrial zone. Industrial. Every city needs an industrial zone. Maybe it was better build it there, but whatever. I think uh, it's better be more efficient. Now, Karakum. Sorry, these Mongolians, they're not there anyway. There's no more Mongolia. And the good news is, it's not my fault. So, not my fault. That means I don't get the penalty for that. Very happy I got a peace deal. I got his gold. Just in time. Just in time. Karakum also wants an industrial zone. And up here we have the a potential for three, uh, three, whatever this is called, production. Production, you don't know the word production. This is what you're focusing on. Okay. I mean, I could do that. I could, uh, because it's, I guess, district. But uh, I don't want it next to the wonder. The aqueduct does give it two. You know, tempting, very tempting. Don't tempt me. You know I'm going to do it. I do want my production. Yeah, remove the marsh. And then finally, Longxi has built the walls. What are you doing building walls? Yeah, you know, doing the, the usual. Great wall and minor wall. I don't even know why I built this worker. I guess to get that... I guess we want to get that uh, silver. Finally, we're going to have silver in our country. Finally. Not like it was a plan. Here we're going to build the granary. Yeah, why not? Why not? We have so much food here. Look at all the farming. Okay. So. Next World Congress, 10 turns. We need... Not that many more. Hmm. This guy is talking to me, interrupting me. I'm trying to tell you about something. This guy actually likes me now. So that's good. That's good. Let's be his friend. Yeah, we need the 20 error points to get some kind of a bonus. Ah, here we go. We got one plus error score because we discovered printing in China. Which means we can build a forbidden city plus five culture. Humanism. I don't really need the policy here. Great engineer, maybe. Great engineer, maybe. What done, that does in the... That uh, does the what? Engineer. Great engineer points, obviously. Yeah. Choose engineering over science any day. I don't know if that's actually a good idea, but I do know that I am ahead here in the great people. Great people, great engineer, China. Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, we're going to rename him something maybe like Liang Zhao da Yuqiu. I don't know. Okay, that was a bad attempt. But you get it. You get it. We all get it. Now this one, let's go for Venetian Arsenal. Build a lumber mill. We have that. Five turns. Now that's not too long. Not too bad. So now we can build our trade route here. Ooh, build trade route with Beijing. Beijing, Jiang, Anyi. Uh, probably Anyi. 
Although Beijing would be a nice direct route. Anyway, we're gonna go for the more Ulaanbaatar even has even more uh, production and food. We're gonna do that. Any kind of road across the country, east to west, what I'm talking about. All right, so naval tradition, one turn. No, you know what? We're gonna go for something more serious. Maybe the either diplomatic service or reform church. Yeah, I'm gonna go for diplomatic service because that seemed to be like something important. Now, Jian or Xiang, Xiang, he's gonna build the forbidden city. Maybe forty-eight turns. Yeah, you ask me, you uh, that's too much. I think. How about? How about Anyi, the real capital? Um, mm, that's not even an option for them. Maybe Beijing. Beijing is eager to build something. Let's give them something to build. Forbidden City, 138 turn. You crazy. That's just crazy. So I guess Xiang going to get the Forbidden City right there. Although that would be great for, that would be great for a theater district, right? Because then you got the one, the adjacency, and two districts adjacency. But I guess it needs to be built on flat land. Flat land. Now, if I do it in Beijing, I could build it uh, here and maybe use a great engineer to get it. I could just purchase the great engineer with fate or only 1,900 fate, which I have. Hey, where the other gen where did the other great engineer go? Prob probably I took him, didn't I? I forget already. No, nope, just I only have one great person in all the history of China. Oh, you're gonna make me furious if you tell me that kind of information. I want more great people. Such a big country, and no great people. Okay, but wild card policy and five culture per turn is way more important then one silly little theater district so we're gonna build a forbidden palace if we even get it now uh, Beijing was building the commercial hub is done industrial zone could do better so we're gonna do that we have two quarries up here and hills but no districts so we're gonna build it down here we're gonna build it beside the commerce district beside two hills and we're gonna mine there. Now we had a worker down here. It's gonna build some farms. Okay. Why every single boat asks me every single turn what to do? I wish they wouldn't, you know? These are just. These are ancient boats we're using in the Renaissance. Sort of stocking up on boats. Just send this boat somewhere. Oh, look at that. We have nitre. Nitre. Gunpowder. We call it gunpowder. Don't call it nitre. Don't know who does that. Uh, all right. So, all right. Be on a standby here. Four turns. Standby for that wonder. Now, the worker go here. Build farm. And by the way, we forgot to make the friendship with Mali. Do you want to be my friend? Huh. Huh. He say huh. Huh. You too. Thank you so much. Okay. Perfect. Got one friend there. Maybe Georgia wanting my. We used to be friend Georgia. What happened to you? I don't know. She wants her iron. Probably I didn't give her iron. Mm hmm. All right. So uh, next turn already. Really? What about uh? That's it. Okay. Go. Don't sit around. Be beat around the bush, as they say. Now this worker can go get amenities here, but then while well, we're building a. Seven turn. Okay, go. Yeah, go. Emergency. Build that uh, thing. Go get the turtles for Chengdu. Chengdu wants the turtles bad, real bad. Oh my god, did you see this? I didn't even realize this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Missionary from Palmaker in my country. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. True production in Anyi because they built a university. This is a 
seat of higher knowledge here in the capital. Now we're gonna build maybe industrial complex, but not so fast. Don't rush into that. Maybe an encampment too could be fun. Right there. Right, because then you get the opportunity to maybe build the Alhambra, but that would take some time, no? You're, you're going crazy with these wonders, Kusan. Only 12 turn encampment. What else can we build? Government plaza? We want the government plaza. Um, okay, or maybe a theater district. You said that would be good, right? Who cares what I said? I think we need an encampment. Think of all the future wars. They are absolutely converting my country to Islam right now. Shaka all of a sudden wants to be my friend. Okay, that sounds like a fun deal. We're gonna be friends with Shaka. He does not like Mansa Musa though, he does like Cleopatra. And we have some grievances against him for some unknown reason. Declare friendship. Good. Uh, thank you so much there. Very good. Now, Crouching Tiger. Get that. Shoot him. Look at that. Total domination here in the naval. Total naval domination. I'm so lucky now I have this uh, Colosseum here in Karakum. So we have more amenities in my country than normal. I didn't ever repair this stuff here, this milk farm, this cattle farm, this cattle ranch, this milk ranch. I don't know what you call it. Let's turn off the grid. Let's take a look at the beautiful... Um, let's just remove all the filters. While the people are voting in the council, say, please wait. Are you sure you want to keep China waiting? We have colonization to do. Maybe down here, actually. Huge island down there. Maybe Egypt can survive. Look, desert. That's what they love. Go colonize Egypt. That's fine. I let you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, back. Go back. Go back there. How can I? How can I move units if I'm please waiting? Oh, I've been waiting for no reason, guys. Should we uh, do an emergency against our friend? No, just pass, 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 pass. Thank you so much for the offer, but I declare friendship with him. Now he's gonna give us a delegation. Wonderful. And, uh, you know, in this case, I'm going to give the Cleopatra her gold. I want her to do well. Only three, go three gold per turn. We make 76 gold per turn. Waiting for that Congress. The cities of the faithful rise to heaven and on earth we are moved to righteous fury. So, religious emergency against... Uh, ooh, against, uh, what's her name? Tamar. But I wonder what is the emergency? They want to... <laughs> if anything, I would think Poundmaker is the emergency. He has like 5,000 of these missionaries. Okay, Amalik, population of 9. Can you imagine? It's a brand new city for us. Already populated like crazy. You bet you. Maybe walls. I always want to build the walls. Astronomy. Oh, Porto Alta Palace. So now I'm going for all the wonders. This is normally when my country starts to go backwards because, you know, focus too much on wonders and you kind of have a problem on your hands. Now, what do we wait one turn for a galley and then, yeah, and then build a Venetian arsenal because, you know, because I want my galley. Workshop, build the workshop. Keep the people busy there. Now, you know, we do have open border with Georgia, so maybe we can send the 
some kind of a horse or something fast do we have no we have no scout yeah let's send somebody there to just check it out check out what is going on <gasps> Hatusa is at war with the Zulu now we have a major flood here in Anyi oh, the poor people there 10 population all being killed right now <laughs> I feel bad for you okay we're gonna send one knight there one knight there and one there I just bought my boat here to make it like look a bit like we're doing stuff maybe like make sure no barbarians are gonna spawn on this coast yeah that could that could be good that could be great right build the Venetian arsenal 54 turns 120 gold for the tile no hesitation just go for it unit needs order I gave you orders what are you doing don't have to give you twice oh my gosh we met this girl already not already we just met her already just now <laughs> okay would you like to sample nearby hospitality do I want this European looking girl coming to my land okay come in to my palace we didn't even build our palace yet she's coming from the north choose your friends wisely but you must choose says palm maker very interesting T what a twist of events so he's telling me now to choose do i want to be friend with jadviga Jad jadviga she's friendly with everybody wow she's probably going for diplomatic victory okay what kind of policy do we have on here hmm pretty boring policy if you ask me and we're gonna keep it that way because we are a land of tradition no need to change but i do want to know where this boat come from naval tradition mercantilism privateer yeah we go for that earn the great merchant Oh, but you say we can change government? No, don't don't rush to that. Stability, tradition. You just said that, so just calm down. No need to change the government. We are right now merchant republic. And what is for China good? Monarchy? Probably monarchy is good. Yeah, but we're gonna stay merchant republic for tradition. But I'm looking now for maybe something more like maybe a wonder bonus. We are building wonders. Hmm. All right. That's fine. Now. Unit needs orders. Next turn. Go. So I think that we're going to keep this video a little bit shorter than other video I had because. Well, we're just going to go quickly through the Renaissance era. And um, not really engage in any combat maybe a little bit of exploration and we're going to just focus on building up our our, 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 our what are we building up our country yeah we are building up our country from the infrastructure side of things we can build one maybe one city up here and um choose production okay what what city handan handan okay well, build a lighthouse. Okay. And build a... Build a boat. A lighthouse. Number one. I would like to know where is your capital city, girl. Can you not give me a map or something? Now, Egypt appears to have gotten a delegation from Australia. Would not be surprised if this island was Australia, guys. Would not be surprised. Look at that. Once again, we have geographic. Everything makes sense geographically here. Except for maybe the island where these Cree people live. Palmeca. Right up the coast of Chengdu, Banda Brunei, Hantan, Kandy, Tel Aviv, Gori. You know, you don't need to know everything, but that's just a, just a small um, 
summary. My my, it looks like these little city states are being taken out by the bigger countries. And uh, I would protect them, but I did just tell you I want to have more or less an era of peace. Begin voting. Okay. Mercenary companies. Producing purchasing military units using a chosen chosen currency type is hmm 100% cost until the next World Congress. Sure, let's raise the price. Embargo. Production bonus. Uh, production increase. Okay. Select an outcome for public relations. Who is going to get more grievances? Well, let's see. Let's see. Strategic thinking, guys. Who do we want to get more? I would say, off the top of my head, Tamar. Just off the top of my head. Hopefully, that was the right decision. I have nothing against Tamar, but she was in some funky, funny wars. She started some wars I didn't understand. All right. Clearly, we did not vote the right way. You just wait. You just wait until we take control of the United Nations. We're going we're gonna to make sure they vote the way I want in the future, but not yet. We're just building up our country. Now, I was wondering here, if we send this guy here, we can maybe build a big, nice wall all the way down that way. What do you think? Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to have to obviously send a few workers. Let's build another worker in Karakum. Or trader. Oh, that's a good option. But no, we're going to go for builder. But there she is telling me the trader is better. No, but we're going to go with the builder. Because what I say goes, and that's what I say. And it goes. Here, here. Porcelain tower. Another gunpowder gives you porcelain tower. Another one that I'm going to go for. If I have the requirements. Okay, trader in Longxi. Uh, okay, now now again I'm second guessing the, the thing there. Now I want to grow the population. It's number one. You know, this builder is not doing much. Just send him down here. We figure out later. The wicked king pursued the lovers. Ooh, plan and natural Maria wonder on discovered uh, in Georgia. <gasps> and I get the blood of the martyr. Uh, great work. <laughs> you go exploring, you bring back me some cloth with blood. I'm going to be very happy about that. You understand. Now, Poundmaker wants some iron. But wait, you know what? I will give it to you. But look at the face you're giving me. That's not the way to do business. And go wash your hair. It's a dreadlocks. That's not a thing in the fourteen, in the sixteen sixty, eleven sixty A.D. Ah, here we go. He's a presentable gentleman, wearing golden robes, jewelry, and smiling. That guy, I'm gonna give him a great deal. Except, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mansa Musa. See, you gotta be very have a strategy for these games. You gotta know who to play with and who to not to play with. Now, because the science is so good, I haven't even considered building campuses anywhere. But is that really the fact? If I go here to world rankings, I am the world leader in science. 73 science per turn. 73.1, exactly like uh, Cleopatra. And actually, same technology level. What is that girl doing? Why is she so smart? She has one library for her whole country. And she's same science as this great nation of China? Empire? We're not just a nation. We are empire. Okay, let's just build um, um, commercial. Commercial hub, yeah. Sell me some products. Right here on the river. Good. Now, what is the Georgia Apostle Shinto? Yeah, I accept Shinto with open arms. At least a little historical. 
Now, does Shaka have a faith here? Maybe he is. Why is he all Shinto as well? Then we have Taoism in Egypt a little bit. And we cannot go into Egypt right now because we don't have that open border. But we're just going to finish a little tour of Georgia. They have quite a few of these encampments, walls everywhere. So that's like a completely fortified country. If I build this wall down here like that, that I could really see that coming along. Let's make sure that they're not going to... Yeah, they're going to buy this border up very soon. 12 turns. So it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Send that worker down here as well. Why not? Now, do we have a harbor in this city? No suitable location. I call out you on your lies. That's lies. You can build a harbor here somewhere. Maybe on this side. Okay, okay. I'll give you time. I, I'm going to build walls right now. Although they want amenities. What else do they want? They have amenities. I got them the turtles. Oh, bad mistake, my friend Knight. You stand beside this volcano. You understand everything here is broken. Everything is already destroyed. Why you walk there? Now, Egypt is levying <laughs> the units from Hattusa. Meanwhile, Hattusa is falling. Okay, mercantilism. Not too interesting of policies. Not too interesting at all. Now we're going to open the civics tree and observe the renaissance. We are pretty much done the renaissance. Do you want to go ahead and get enlightened? I think so. Let's get enlightened. Meanwhile, for technology tree for uh, renaissance, for science, just a little bit more work to do. All right. Let's build a barrack or a stable. Barrack or stable. What if I buy the building? Barrack. 360 gold. You know why I'm going to do that, right? I'm going to try to build the Alhambra. Right up here. Right up there. That could be so fun, couldn't it? Building wonders while everyone else is trying to do their science. I'm just like, hey guys. I'm the great nation of many wonders. Land of 1,000 wonders. Now, Karbalagashan here is rebelling. Wonder where they're rebelling to. Maybe China. Could be China. You never know. Unfortunately, they have finished rebelling. Okay. Wow, this volcano on the Wei River is erupting. Gentle eruption, so... The temple is surrounded by a Guys, we built something. We built the Uncle What. A single bridge, you say what, I say Uncle What. So we built it. As to strike terror into the that is amazing. Beautiful. Because we own the, old, the ancient culture of uh, the Uncle Tom. And the people there of the Java guy. What's his name again? Khmer. Yeah. So we own that people. So that's why we build that wonder. Now only 33 turns. I really wonder why there's no policy for building wonders more faster. We're going to check here quickly if there's any kind of civic I can get for building wonders. Civil engineering. Of course. 15% production towards all wonders. But that one's in the industrial era. I still gotta go for it though. You know me. We're going for wonders. Alright. Build the uh, car for science now. What wonder do we want? Are we gonna build more wonders? Uh, I guess. I guess we won't. No, but we're gonna go for some military strategy now. Metal casting. Now, Potawata Palace here in Ulaanbaatar, 59 turn. Anybody think we could do that? Anybody think we should risk it one more time? Yeah, we can build it right there. 
right in the mountains, but somewhere where nobody cares about. So we're gonna do that. 56 turns. You know, in this case, we're gonna actually buy. Let's let's use more of our gold. We have so much gold. Let's buy a trader. That's gonna speed up the production of the poor Tawalta Palace. Oh my, do you see this? We are having some religious wars happening in our country by other countries. Uh, okay, this guy is, uh, what he's doing? Smiling? He, he worked out, he's fit, he's ready to do business. Accept deal. No brainer. Just don't point that sword at me. This girl is being cool as well, but she has like a very good poker face. Imagine that. Ancient poker with Cleopatra. Shaka. And who else am I inviting? Palmaker. Always inviting Palmaker, but never happy to see him. Look at a furious guy. He's allied to Cleopatra. Mansa Musa friendly. Does not like Zululand. Okay. Porcelain Tower. In Karakum. <laughs> Another wonder, guys. Alright. This episode, we're going to start all the wonders. Next episode... It's going to be a, a bumpy ride, maybe. I don't know. So we have here, maybe up here, because it's a farm, but it's kind of isolated farm. So, and what are we building right there? Uh, I don't know. Industrial zone. Yeah, I'm going to build a porcelain tower. Porcelain. Porcelain. Of course, porcelain tower on this farm. Because that's what they want. Oh, it's going to look so Asian over here. Look at that. One Asian wonder. Two Asian wonder. Oopsie. Uh, three Asian wonder. Four Asian wonder. Uh, okay, I'm looking for the fifth one so that I can say it. I want to say it. Where is it? Where is it? I'm just going to say it anyway. Five Asian wonder. You know I was going to say it. The Great Wall. That's a wonder. Anyway, uh, Namado. Got to trade with my Namado. Is Namado still existing? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Two, two envoys. Okay, give one to Namado. What do they want? Recruit a gate scientist. Or just give you a bribe. Give you an envoy. That's a bribe. Good. Trader from Ulaanbaatar goes for the most production we can find here. Karakum, Ankatom, Karakum, Ankatom. Ani. Okay, we're gonna go to Ani because that's the capital. More prestige. I'm sure that the trader wants to visit the nation's, the empire's great capital. Okay, we're gonna go down here and build a wall. The Poland has denounced the evil deeds of Zululand. Well, my friend, I'm unfortunately I'm gonna have to stand up for the. I'm going to have to stand up for Zululand. I'm not going to take that from Jadwiga. She can't just go discover my continent and denounce my neighbor. Who does that? Just because she's jealous that he has more land than her, more muscles on his abdomen, and more pointy sticks. If you look. Alright, we had a big flood in our country and uh, I sort of just shrugged it off. You know, sometimes the great leader kind of shrugs off a great flood. Norway is trading with Egypt. So I haven't met these people, but they're all doing business with my, my friends here. Clearly, I'm kind of backward when it comes to naval naval units. We're going to go left or right. Let's go. You know what? I did not think about this. We should give this city this governor. All right. And we're going to chop down everything. We're going to chop everything down. We see. But we need to wait five turns to do that. Okay. So Karakum. See, you, wasn't, you weren't thinking long term. You were thinking short sighted. That's not what I like to see. Here we go, Anko Tom. 
why do we not build a archaeological museum or do you want to build a art museum or a commercial hub i think uh, i think that last option sounded pretty good to me commercial hub but why we have no river based areas this is clearly going to be good for well you know what we're building a just district down here so maybe or maybe we build one down there who knows who knows that one has forest no don't take the forest away that's good for the holy site but this one would definitely be good for farming not gonna lie this one we this one might work right here you know it's a bit too soon a bit too soon to give these people a commercial hub so i'm just gonna build a art museum or art museum yeah china art museum yeah sorry got to do the equation think about it logically archaeology in the year 1240 ad does not make sense to me okay this builder does not know what to do you know what to do go build thank you Mahenjadaro has just declared war on Egypt. So here are the last city states on our continent. We have Banda Brunei, which is my ally. Kandy, which is my ally. They have population of 10 and 9. Namado, population of 8, also my ally. And then lastly, we have Mahenjadaro, population of 9. Oh my god, 1,000 year flood. 8 damage. 6 damage tiles. 8 fertilized tiles and two population lost oh my god that's a big flood <laughs> that's one i cannot ignore also we are in the industrial era i mean we have technically discovered the industrial era so i'm definitely going to put the policy now change policy skyscrapers in the year excuse me in the year 1250 ad skyscrapers we're going to change the I'm going to go with changing the holy site bonuses. Okay? You all agree with that? Okay. Good. Thank you. So, 1250 AD, it took us 100 years to just rush through the Renaissance. Um, so, but we didn't do all the technologies. Should I go for cartography? Four turns and we'll get the ships and we can discover the new world. Probably next episode because right now we're waiting for these builders to get that gent this uh mayor magnus and for okay we were doing one of these weren't we we were doing the enlightenment enlightenment choose production in aksu we should rename this city actually these two cities we should rename because i don't want 40% of my country to have Mongolian city names. That's just simple. Okay. Whatever. We're going to figure that out. I'm going to do some research for next episode. Basically, what I'm saying is we're coming to the end of this episode. Just choose something to build here. Or don't just choose something. Choose something wise. What about a holy site? Right there. That might be a good holy site. There's three holy right there. Three holiness there and three... Switch, switch, swap, swap, switch. How much holiness there? Three. And does this city already have a holy site or no? It does not. It does not. But it has a lot of room to build as well. Um, you know, I guess I will go with holy site. Surprisingly though, you can't get the bonus from having the districts. Maybe because this one is pillage. I don't know. I'm going to just quickly check wonders, if there's any wonders left. We can also go for commercial district. Right on the inside of these walls here. Could be good, you know. Could be really good. Commercial, science, religious? Hmm, no. Commercial, science, religious. Anyway, yeah, we're going to go for commercial hub. It's offering me to go next turn, but since we hit the industrial era, we're going to do a check mark here. We started building all of those wonders. We got our great work 
of bloody papers in our palace for some reason. And uh, maybe even Egypt is going to be our friend. She hopes that we are more a Mark Anthony than a Brutus. Uh, I accept that whatever you just said, woman. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode with Emperor Yu. Uh, we are we are the world winners right now. Except, except other things like religion, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.